I'm just going to say it. That Travis Hunter interception against TCU was one fantastic play that was made by a hell of a corner. Let's break it down. Here we have the play, and it's third and one in the third quarter for TCU. They're going to go for the end zone, and they're going to run a play that's become very common in football, which is some sort of rub route concept. Here in the red zone, it's, it's very common to get a lot of man coverage. And so because of it, you're trying to basically make it so that the defenders are going to run into each other and basically break free a receiver, and that's the read for the play. So they're going to run a play where it's basically this receiver's going to come in here, this receiver's going to come in here, and then the back's going to come out on the wheel route. Here's the thing. We've seen this play before in this game. This is the exact same play that Colorado ran to get their first score. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? Here we see Colorado basically in the same situation as TCU was, just that the back is flipped to the other side of Shadur Sanders. And they're going to run the same exact type of play. Receiver's going to come inside. Receiver's going to come inside. Back's going to wheel out to his left. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to force these defenders to the inside and then hit the back for the touchdown. And they're successful on this play. Let's go ahead and watch it real quick. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about as we do it. So no doubt Travis Hunter has seen this play in practice before. So he understands kind of what a lot of teams, especially in college football, are starting to do nowadays. So here, I've advanced the play a little bit. And as you can see, this is very interesting to me. It is a man. It's man because you have here, here, going with the man. But up top, it's more of a match type man coverage, right? The backer's not running with the running back. Again, remember, Colorado has run this play in the game. So they might be thinking, hey, they've scouted, they've seen that this might be something that TCU runs. This has kind of become common within football. So let's run a match man coverage type situation. So the backer's now looking to the inside, see if there's a receiver coming into his area. He'll take him, okay? Slot receiver is coming in the inside. Defender over the slot receiver is now kind of back pedaling, but he's eventually going to look to the inside seat receiver coming here. And now you've got Travis Hunter, and he's looking at the quarterback, but he's also looking at the back, okay? If the back had stayed, he probably would have stayed with his receiver, okay? Same for this guy, okay? They're probably communicating. They're set, they've got this call on. This is what's happening. This is really interesting stuff, guys. Like, this is part of the game. So let's go ahead and take a look and advance a little bit further in the play. And as you can see, right, backer's looking here, defender's looking here, but he's going to start looking here. And again, Travis Hunter's eyes are not on this guy. Travis Hunter is looking right at the quarterback, right at him. He's not even looking away, okay? He's looking right here, okay? And now. Look at the eyes of your defenders, right? They're right here. They're right here. Okay? Travis Hunter is coming off. He's not even playing this receiver. He's passing him off, and he's waiting for the ball to be thrown. He is already making his break to stop this play. And as you can see, he comes off. Full stretch, interception. One hell of a fantastic play. That is amazing and what you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing a lot more of these match coverages by defenses to try and take advantage and to stop the rub routes rub routes are the bane of all defensive coaches they hate them they call them pick routes it's a rub route the receiver still has to run we're going to make another video talking about that uh because tcu did a good job for a touchdown where a receiver came out and kind of blocked the way for the underneath route to come wide open. But this is, well, it's a fantastic play. And you can tell Travis Hunter is a well-coached player. This is a well-coached player who takes coaching and pays attention. And it helps that his team runs the same play. Hopefully that uh, gives you a little bit of insight in how football really does happen. This is a breakdown of the Travis Hunter interception. I hope you enjoyed that content. Look for the next video about this particular game where we're going to talk about 
two plays in particular, uh, a touchdown reception for TCU, and then the game-winning score. We made a video also breaking down the Jacksonville State uh, win over UTEP for Week 0. That video link will be down below. This is part of a new series here on the Big In Sports Network where we're going to be doing football game breakdowns of certain plays uh, from each week. If you have a particular team you'd like me to take a look at play at and talk about, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. You have a good day, and this is Big In. Signing off.